I focus, focus, focus. Okay, that's only because I uh, put my resistors backwards on here, just because you might be able to see that uh, that big piece right there came out really far on that side. So I just uh, put my positive on that side instead of the other side, and you know, so our positive still connects to that plate thing up there in the front and the negative still connects to this bottom piece down here that's below the little resistor uh... okay yeah here's here's the other one the original one that i did uh... just a couple minutes ago and this is actually wired up exactly the way that that looks you know it comes out and this one up here on top no jeez this is just looking stupid on video I'm watching through the viewfinder on the camcorder okay <laughs> sorry to be wasting your time okay so this one on the top is the positive C and that one down on the bottom is the negative and it's just because you know I hooked it up to you know the top over here on this side because it's sticking out further on this side on this particular one and so I made my connection a negative on this bottom piece down here so this whole bar down here is negative and this whole bar up here is positive so you know if you do it like that or if you <sighs> do it like I did with this other one where the positive is still hooked up to the front come on focus 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 and the negative is hooked up down here so, you know, just so you know. Okay. Oh, yeah. Hold on a sec. Okay. All right. Yes. My last point that I wanted to make. Okay. Now I've got it hooked up to my, uh, uh, my variable uh, power supply. My variable voltage power supply. Uh, I have it running at 7.2 volts. It's doing 22 milliamps. What I want to show you, um, this little bit of cool easiness you know that is the empowerment of having a uh, regulator on this system all right now I'm gonna turn the voltage up and down on this and show you well, this thing is on right now um, when it gets down to about 6.5, 6.4. Um, it's starting to drop already a little bit. Our, uh, our current on this side. So I just want to show you, you know, if it gets below 6.4 uh, 6 volts, your current is going to start dropping. When it starts dropping, then it's going to get dimmer. Okay. Okay. Now, the other thing is, I can take this and make it go up and down. And uh, it's at... Uh, Six point okay, six point six volts and twenty two milliamps while it's on. Now I'm gonna raise the voltage and you'll notice that the amperage is gonna stay exactly the same. Oh well pretty much exactly the same. Right? So we're already beyond a uh nine point six volt battery. Uh we're up uh at a twelve volt car battery. We're up at a an automotive charging system with a, a inverter. No, um, what's it called? I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, so we're doing 14 volts, you know, and we're still doing 26 milliamps. The only thing is that uh, the higher the voltage goes, your input voltage, the hotter that thing's going to get, which you know is bad. But if you need to, you can screw uh, a piece of uh, metal onto this or screw this onto a piece of metal and whatever if you don't go beyond three of these things then you're pretty you're pretty good okay so that you know you can plug this into a car you know 12 volts positive and negative and you know it could be charging at 14 volts and it's still going to keep the voltage the same for this thing so that it's not going to burn out all right and that's the great thing about this all right, now I'm bringing the voltage back down, and it's still 22.4, and it's still pretty bright. 
until we get down to yeah about 6.3 6.4 then the voltage starts dropping and then you can start to see it okay so there you go you can go from 6.6.4 uh, 6 volts all the way up to 14 volts and these things say that they can do go up to 36 volts if they need to oh and the last thing the reason why I wanted you to have two resistors on you know each one of these like this is so that you can plug them in in parallel like this and it doesn't matter really so much how many you have let me see alright so that resistor is coming off of the top that resistor is coming off the top so it's positive and that one's coming off of the bottom so it's negative okay so positive and negative take it and just touch it on there it'll turn on it's turning on it's turning on well hold on a second I'm going to solder this on but that's the important thing is that you can have one in this 5 volt circuit you can have two in this 5 volt circuit you can have three you can have you know many in this 5 volt circuit and uh, the more you have on this 5 volt circuit also the hotter that thing is going to get so the more of these things you have on here the hotter that's going to get and the higher your input voltage the hotter that's going to get okay but uh you know, if you have three LED lasers on there, it, it should be pretty cool. Uh, hold on, I'm gonna... Uh, well, shit. You can, you can see that it's on. Okay, so we have one that's on. And uh, now that we have two of them on there, we're doing 42 milliamps. Which makes sense, because each one of these takes 20 milliamps. If I take that off, it's back down to 22. Okay, so... That's the bare bones way that it looks on how to wire in your own 7805 7805 5 volt voltage regulator to be able to power three lasers off of whatever voltage you want them to be run off of okay so there you go people I hope that was simple enough if uh, <sighs> I hope that was simple enough. I try to make it as simple as possible so people could see the actual wires going from here to there. You know, and if you want to, you can take those wires and twist them up so that they look all nice and nifty like. Yeah, of course, when I want to freaking show you a twisty wire that I twist. Whatever, this, this one's twisted. See that? Can you see that? Okay, this wire is pretty twisted. You know, you take your wires and you twist them up and everything's spiffy. And that's about it. It's like 4 in the morning. That's why I'm a little tired. But, uh, if uh, anybody makes um, your laser things off of this tutorial, you know, please show me. That would be pretty cool. Uh, you know, upload a picture or a video to YouTube or something. Or at least I am... Am I touching the freaking microphones again? At least I... I am me. No, PM me. Yeah. Okay. Goodbye. Good luck, everybody. I hope he doesn't start to... Uh